there's a lot of times where I want to go back to an old model and retexture something, but I don't have the original bake meshes set up in a way that I can just quickly do that. So one way we can do that, we can take the tangent based normal and the low poly and regenerate the mesh maps in Substance Painter. It can be a little bit dirty, but it can look pretty good. In some cases, you won't even have the high poly source like this Guild Wars 2 character, for instance. I only had the low poly and normal. So let's give it a shot. All right, we've got a low poly loaded. Now, what we need is actually only the low poly and the tangent base normal. So if we have a tangent space normal, we'll be able to generate mesh maps that won't be the best version of them, but they'll be pretty good. So I'll import my texture, my normal map. And I'll assign it in the texture set settings to the normal map. Now our normal looks correct in viewport, right? If we can just quick look around, double check that it's going the right direction. It's an old model. I often will have a flip green channel. Now we'll jump into bake mesh maps and we'll turn off normal map and ID map because we won't have any way to get an ID map from this. But otherwise, that's it. Bake the texture as is. Let's take a look at the maps it created. Here's a position map. Our thickness now, this is not the best thickness. It's useful, but it's not the best thickness. You can see some low poly artifacting. It'll help us determine like very small objects on the character, but that's about it. There's our normal, we had that before. Our world space normal, no ID map, and then an occlusion. Again, we'll have some small artifacting from the low poly nature of this model. You can see it in the eyes up here. But as far as getting us the basics for using so much diffuse or so much specular, so we'll put so much specular on and assign a basic material. We'll use the Franken material from last time. Now you can see I've got my base material. We've got a specular. Now there are definitely some issues with the occlusion you can see pulled through here. If you wanted, after you bake the mesh maps, you could jump into Photoshop and edit out those low poly facets and re-import them in. Let's edit the cavity. Bring some red into this. Darken it a little bit. And we'll also bring up the occlusion on this. That's a sort of disease looking skin. And this time, since we have that thickness map, we'll actually use that to affect the color a little bit. Let's turn it on, see on and off what it's doing. We're gonna darken this and maybe move it towards a green, something like this. And let's change that spread. We'll bring it in further. Look at that, real quick material for our diseased little chicken boy. And if you were so inclined, you could switch this over to just diffuse only. Look at that. Base texture, base diffuse, or full textures, spec gloss and normal. Or you can get the full material for spec and gloss, spec, gloss, normal, and diffuse. Thanks for watching.